Super Bowl pick-wise, we've got the Bills playing the Texans this week. The Titans are at New England. Uh, the Vikings are playing the Saints, and the Seahawks are in Philadelphia. Now, we each filled out a bracket, and we do this every year. Do we just want to go round by round? Is sure, that what we're sure. doing? Let's do it. So, uh, we all have Buffalo winning against Houston. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Sorry, Houston fans. We all yeah. have Buffalo winning that game. Um, I have New England over Tennessee. Do we, either of you have Tennessee winning that game? I have Tennessee winning that game. Okay. Yes, I and I am also taking the blindfold approach and saying Tennessee will win that, it, that matchup. It felt bad. I mean, I you know, look, the beginning of the end for the Patriots results in a Super Bowl because that's what they do. And knowing that, that somehow they'll be in the Super Bowl, it was very hard to pick Tennessee. But when I look <laughs> at this game... It's very hard for me to see New England losing in New England, even though they've struggled. That's the part that I have a hard time with. I just don't know how they're going to score at this point. Th that, that's the hard t the hard part is looking at that, but then Jason and I are also talking about how does New England possibly win this game? Well, I, I don't know if, if uh, Tennessee will be able to score. That'll be the interesting part of it. Can they put it together against uh, that defense? Maybe. You know, Ryan Fitzpatrick did. Um all right, are we going to stay in the AFC? Do you want to march through the AFC here? Sure, yeah. yeah, we'll complete it. So then, uh, based on my finishes, I have Buffalo traveling to Baltimore, Baltimore winning that game. And we have the Titans going to Baltimore and Baltimore winning that I game. I have Baltimore winning that game, yeah. That means uh, for, for my other side, it's Kansas City uh, versus New England. That game's at home in Arrowhead for Kansas City. And I'm taking the Chiefs to get through New England finally. And so that puts Baltimore, Kansas City in the AFC title. I have, I have Kansas City against Baltimore as well. So that means we've got different ways of getting to the same end result, which is Baltimore, Kansas City, AFC it's, championship it's game. It's the matchup we all deserve. And NFL, don't I, let us down. I can't wait. That game's going to be yes. outstanding. And I ended up taking Kansas City. Yeah, that's a tough pick, but I got Kansas City as the AFC representative. Jason? As, as do I. Okay. And I have Baltimore. All right. Well, that... The nice thing about both of those teams getting to the AFC title game, if it happens, I'm really rooting for both of those teams. I, yeah. I would love to see Andy Reid and Harbaugh get to the Super Bowl, so I'm happy there. On the other side, the NFC, um, I have Philadelphia at home beating Seattle. Obviously, Philadelphia will win the Super Bowl. Right. That's because what I like was told. I said it in the offseason, but my bracket may provide an alternate <laughs> reality for you when we get to that point. But I got Philly. Jason, you have Seattle? I do have Seattle going on the road and coming out victorious against the very injured Eagles. Yeah, I've took Seattle as well and this is I mean this is a, this is gross. I've I've taken three roads road teams. You're reflecting on your bracket now. Yeah, you're, my you're bracket is back bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then in the New Orleans Minnesota game, uh, I did take New Orleans to win that one. Which would put them up against Green Bay in the as, next. As did I. Yes, that okay. one's unanimous. So that means we all have Green Bay, New Orleans. Can we just yeah. pause for a second and talk about, like, okay, the Baltimore Ravens, Kansas City game, that's going to be unbelievable. Right. But that might not happen. The New Orleans, Minnesota game right. is happening this weekend, and that is a rematch of the Minneapolis Miracle last year. It's in Minnesota. I want the game no, to be. No, this one is in New Orleans. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. It's in New Orleans. But I want this game to come down to, like, just a Hail Mary situation from the 50. Um, so Green Bay, New Orleans. I'm going to take New Orleans in that one. New Orleans. New Orleans across the Although, board. man, I've been warming, warming to Green Bay in recent days. Yeah, I, I have. It's not. hard to beat Green Bay, you know, uh, in Green Bay. It's difficult to look at that team and you say, well, they're not flashy. They don't do anything special. How are they 13-3? and three? Yeah, that, the but you still is, are in the playoffs with Aaron Rodgers. Like the Aaron Rodgers sit philosophy for fantasy is great because you're looking at total fantasy points. But if Aaron Rodgers makes five Aaron Rodgers plays, that is very, very valuable in the playoffs. The identity of the Green Bay Packers, it's it's not the team that fantasy wants them to be. It's the Darius Smith. Well, is I, that? Mean, I mean, Aaron Jones has been <laughs> sensational, but, but Aaron Rodgers has not been the fantasy quarterback that you had hoped for. So it... It feels like from the fantasy side of things that skews how we believe mm -hmm. in the Packers, but they won 13 games. Well, they, like, they managed to do that. It's funny. You, you, you talk about you look at your bracket and you hate it already for some reason. Um, 
this game, I have three this <laughs> game is one where I didn't think about it v for long at all because I think the Saints are. I mean, I've you know I, they were my preseason Super Bowl uh, champion pick, and they've been outstanding. I'm changing on the fly, but oh! the fa I, and I don't blame you here because I'm going Green Bay. The fact that this game is in Lambeau, uh, you know, Drew Brees. Is not the outdoor cold he's weather. Not, he's not an outdoorsy type. <laughs> you know, he's he, Drew Brees. Better start growing a beard that's right gonna now. Be, it's good. Yeah, it's gonna. Oh be. man, I can't picture that. Oh man, that'd be weird. Yeah, I don't know why. I feel like maybe he's never. I don't know facial hair. Grow, I don't think he can grow a beard. No, mm. no, that's gonna be a problem. All right, so I am switching. I'm taking Green Bay over New Orleans. Wow. Well, all right. And then, uh, so that puts, and you guys are both taking New Orleans to yes. beat Green Bay. Yep. And then uh, I have Philadelphia versus San Francisco in round two at the top of this bracket. I'm going to take San Francisco over Philadelphia in my alternate universe where Philly somehow doesn't win the Super Bowl. I got San Francisco beating Seattle. And I have Seattle beating San Francisco on the road in a rematch of last week's game. Can I ask you a question, Jason? You sure can. Was it difficult for you not to be able to select an Eli Manning led team in this bracket? Like you don't oh, have the man. you don't have the option to choose the Giants. Is that it was, was that troubling? It was it was tough. It was troubling, but uh, Seattle came through for me. Okay, that means uh, my NFC title game is San Francisco Green Bay. I've got San Francisco in the Super Bowl. I have Seattle against New Orleans. New Orleans victorious at home going to the Super Bowl. I got 49ers, Saints, and I got the Saints moving on. All right, that means my Super Bowl is Kansas City, San Francisco, and I'm going with the 49ers winning the Super Bowl. Ho-hum, efficient, great defense, and that, ho that seed, that number one seed at home with that defense, I think they're just going to meander their way there. And we'll have to stare at Jimmy G's handsome mug all off season. I have Kansas City and the New Orleans Saints in what should be a shootout awesome Super Bowl. I have the Saints three to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I have the Saints victorious as Super Bowl champs. I'm sticking with my preseason picks here. And I got Baltimore versus New Orleans in the big game, and I have Baltimore and Lamar Jackson taking it home. I th now that I'm thinking, we're, we're talking through all the, the things that could happen. Yeah. The Patriots versus San Francisco would also be pretty sweet. Oh, if we had Jimmy G. If we had the the, the Padawan versus oh, you're the saying master. Let's find the narrative that that's most exciting. Yeah. That one would be pretty pretty special, and we all know what would happen. Tom Brady would use blood magic to win. <laughs> yeah. Like that, he would do whatever dark sorcery is necessary. Yeah, handsome to Jimmy win G game. would walk out at halftime and his hair had all fallen out. Yeah, like he for would sure. be completely bald. He's an no old No longer man handsome. Now. Yep. Well, there, <laughs> that's not how I expected that to turn. Hey, want to have a cup of coffee with me? Click subscribe. We'll hang out. We'll do it together. Make your team the best.